Well, hello and welcome back to another episode of Cities with John. I am thrilled to have you along for the ride today as we enter episode 10, the final episode, maybe. So you see those skeletons over there. What that is, is that's letting me know that we're not doing a very good job with our health care and stuff like that. So a lot of people are just falling over in the middle of the casinos. It's like weekend at Bernie's. Um... Uh, I don't really know what that means. Um, so we're going to add a crematorium here, put some bushes in the corner. And we have some palm trees and things of that nature. Uh, now you might notice there on the right, no bushes in that flower bed in front of the uh, funeral home. So this, uh, by the way, this crematorium, right across the street from a, uh, a funeral home I built a long time ago. This little junction, man. How many hours ago was that? Anyway, um, I don't want to know. This crematorium here hopefully will help, you know, some of the vanilla aspects of the game, um, like the police cars, fire trucks, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I don't have the fires turned on, so my fire trucks uh, and firehouses, uh, sorry, Elliot, are not really legit. They're just. Uh, for looks but that doesn't mean that I don't still build them because I just think it adds to realism and I'm gonna build some today actually so all right so here we go police station fire station so I, I went through a couple of different uh, options here and decided that uh, these would be the best two and I kind of wanted to put them right together because I felt like you know what why not there's a nice little spot here it's gonna be close to so much uh, you know, a big part of the population is right around this um, area of the map. So um, here I am just using the parking roads and just making it appear like that's the entrance. Although that's not really functional. That's why I'm going through and just turning off everything on here minus the fire trucks and stuff because. Um, I don't want to have cars park there and they will definitely park there or they'll just take a U-turn through there which drives me absolutely crazy. But I like these assets here, they, they look pretty nice. Um, and I think they work really well on the strip and it makes sense. And it, but anyway, I, I just don't like playing the game vanilla if I'm going to be doing a ton of designing because I don't really want to spend my time that I'm playing this game dealing with just building a bunch of police that are you know fire stations and not even having to just be basically pointless I can just turn that off and spend more time doing the things I enjoy doing like having paths going through fences and things of that nature uh, yeah but at least that's an easy fix so all right um, really I just want to make sure people know this is an emergency spot they cannot linger around here um, being that it's real close to a path that takes you to a park I don't want people kind of hanging around close which I guess goes without saying but you know how these sims are they do whatever they want they drive through walls they fly cars they walk everywhere through things so I don't want that to happen of course Yeah, uh, this has uh, been a fun series, and you know this might be the last episode of this series. We shall see. Um, I feel like this is a good uh, part to end here because I'm just kind of filling in the rest of this strip, and um, I just didn't want it to be a bunch of. I didn't want it to look bare, and I think uh, adding this stuff in here definitely makes a big difference in um, the looks of an area, any, any part of the map. And I know my biggest fan, Elliot, is going to love that fire station. So I hope you like this one. Um, but again, playing with the vanilla, I don't necessarily have to have this stuff, but I think that it does. It's a good space filler and it makes sense. and. If you didn't have this stuff, it would be kind of strange not having it. Uh, and that's the reason that I, I built it. Plus, they look kind of cool. 
All right, now I got my American flag. Good, good, good. Give it a little curb here. Only thing I don't like about the uh, the flags don't look all that great in this game, but the mod uh, I think it's a bloody penguin, which uh, makes a a lot of good mods, um, but I think it turns the stoplights like white, and it says it's fixed on the workshop, but I don't think it is. Uh, you might have noticed it in other videos. I don't even know if I've noticed it myself in a video, but uh, it does turn the uh, stoplights white. So yeah, I think that looks good. I think that turned out very well, and um, yeah, glad to have uh, them uh, helping out the community right here in the strip, right in front of the planetarium just in case. And we have breaking news. Apparently there is a cop chasing a cop on an unnamed road. Yeah. Alright, so the side of this uh, Rio Grande here, I, I debated on uh, spelling out Rio on the side and just keeping it that. But the way the side of this building looks, I'm like, man, this would be perfect for some big billboards. And um, that's basically what we're doing here, just using it as an advertisement area. And maybe the casino makes revenue off these as much as they make it off of uh, anything else. All right. Now we have this big blank spot right here by the Elliott Hotel. And let's just get rid of all that sand. And we have this Hard Rock Cafe, and I really like this. Looks great. Now we also have this other Hard Rock Cafe, and what I was thinking about doing, I kind of like this one as well. I like the top of it, but I don't like the bottom. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to just combine these two. It's like a, a mega Hard Rock Cafe. Uh, we're just going to combine them, and unfortunately they, well, at least the first hard rock there uh, has a parking lot so had to bring the little parking lot uh, parking lot road uh, parking, lot, parking lot road out to the actual road and it's kind of a I don't, know, I don't like the way it looks back over there in the background um, but what we're looking for here is Let's see, something to cover up. There's a little Memphis sign on the side of that. I don't, nothing against Memphis, okay, but I just don't want any sort of like city names. I don't want to say New York. I don't want to say any city. I want to try to cover that up. Yeah, that, that kind of looks good in that corner. I don't know, it's kind of big. Might have to get rid of that. Anyway, um, let's see. We'll just use some of these concrete. Actually, we, let's see what these, these might look okay. Hey, you know what, never mind. I'm just gonna go with this. These concrete uh, decals, I guess they're under decals. No, actually they're buildings. Um, anyway, they're the safest way to, if you want to make a nice looking corner using the surface painter it's the really the only way to go um, otherwise you'll drive yourself absolutely crazy so don't drive yourself crazy just uh, use the concrete building all right so add a parking lot here to the hard rock and i think uh, this little jumble mess of props is going to serve as kind of a curve looking thing. A lot of times when you're making maps, and I don't do it as much as I should, uh, don't get me wrong, but you have to use a lot of this kind of stuff if you're going to give it a sense of realism because otherwise the sidewalks on here, they don't have a good, um, like their, their color and darkness ratio is... It just doesn't look right for one. It just looks like a color on the on the map. And plus there's always odd corners like you see right there, that little point coming out. 
that you have to constantly fix. So doing this kind of stuff really can make a difference as far as the details go. It's just very time consuming and sometimes, I don't know, kind of drive you crazy and you feel like, well, how many ways can I do the same exact thing? But thing is, is when you're done with it, it turns out good. Oh, well, you don't know what time it is now. It's time for some breakfast, possibly. Depends on what time you're watching this video. Unless you eat breakfast anytime and that's your own prerogative. Um, we have a Bob Evans and we're going to put it right here on this corner. Yeah, I know. It's a fancy strip of upscale places and tourist attractions, but those people are going to be hung over and they're going to need some greasy breakfast and here is the answer to that, Bob Evans. So, can't beat it. There's one about five minutes from where I live that I have gone to quite a few times. Not a whole lot. I don't like it as much as uh, Cracker Barrel. The Cracker Barrel. Is it the Cracker Barrel or just Cracker Barrel? I think I have an asset of Cracker Barrel. I should really stop saying Cracker Barrel. Uh, let's put a little sidewalk here. There we go. And we, again, can use one of these little concrete um, slabs to fill in around here and not even worry about using the surface painter. And I'm sure that goes against my uh, total building count, but... All right, so one thing I do like to do with my city, I've done it, I've done it all over the industrial area and things like that. I do like to keep it kind of mixed up. I don't like to have everything just uh, the same. I wouldn't want to just have non-stop hotels right here. I want to kind of give it something a little bit different. So I'm adding in these like commercial buildings that kind of look like big storage places, maybe for the casinos to out house some of their equipment and things like that. That's kind of the idea. But regardless, I just wanted it to kind of look like a kind of like a industrial or commercial zone kind of right here on the strip and just kind of change it up just a tad just to keep things uh, kind of fresh uh, keep in mind right off of the strip on the other side was my somewhat rough part of town um, for like a better term so this area looks nicer so adding some details to this building and uh, just trying to find some random junk yard type stuff uh, if, you've, if you haven't seen my junkyard video check it out I'll leave a uh, link in the uh, video or description or whatever people do that know what they're doing on YouTube um, and yeah you know you might enjoy that video who knows uh, so just trying to fill it up I don't really care that's a train car how'd it get here Can you explain that one to me how this train car get here uh, oh, that is actually backwards, dang it. All right, I'm gonna grab it, there we go. No, not you! There we go. Spin it around, and there we go. Yeah. It's just a little extension room, that's all it is. It's facing the right direction as well. Um, yeah, the speech series, uh, coming to an end soon, and I uh, appreciate Jeremiah recommending it. He was really my first viewer, first supporter of the uh, channel. So, and he is my YouTube manager, although uh, he has been replying to my emails very often. But he suggested doing a beach series. I thought it was a pretty good idea because I had all these beaches, just not really do anything with them. They weren't um, being utilized, and. I had it. the first part of this strip is actually was from the when I first started playing or uh, building this map. I kind of threw it together, and there's a big intersection over there, and that's where the sunken railway is. So all that was kind of already there. Had some infrastructure, um, and I think that because of that, it made this a logical spot to put the rest of the strip um, I don't I want this to be away from 
where downtown's going to be, and it will be, although downtown will have a quick connection over here, including multiple metro lines and things like that in the future. But it's a good location for sure. All right, so now I'm adding in some more commercial, this time doing some higher end stuff and some new assets that I've been downloading and things I've been wanting to kind of see in action anyway, so to speak. So I thought, eh, why not put them here? Um, the Elliott Hotel, the kind of looking at the strip as a whole, you know, I kind of thought that's probably the most expensive place to stay. So I'm going to put the nicest shops right across the street from it. And I have these, uh, I have an Armani shop and, oh, there's, uh, what's the other one there? I don't even know what that other one is. But anyway, they're higher end ones, fancy ones. That's why I don't know what they are. And um, so just kind of what I'm doing is just kind of trying to make these look like they're all kind of together and uh, through in a little sidewalk there that connects very nicely to the other side over there. Although I don't think they really want to be connected to that over there. <laughs> looks kind of rough. Uh, not a good place to have like a, a meth house right behind the Armani store. <laughs> oh man, sometimes you don't really see these things until you're uh, making your videos. There's a pottery barn. <laughs> That's a great place. So if you get your uh, meth lab furniture again, what I'm going to try to do is put in this little commercial strip that looks just like the pottery barn. How ironic. And didn't really mean to crush the coffee shop in the process of doing that but we'll just move it over here yeah out there I'll have to kind of fix some of this stuff here I'm gonna move this sidewalk over so give it a little bit more spacing Do is we'll just use move it and copy and paste these decals and put them over here on the back just to kind of give it a uh, more finished look and bring them around the corner. This bike path that is on screen here has been probably it was probably in the first 20 hours of the city. Um, we're now on if you're keeping count. We're probably on hour 400, uh, close to 400 of this uh, of this city. That has no name, mind you. Uh, has no name. Now that 400 hours includes any time that the game is paused, um, stuff like that. So it's not a true number, but it's possible that it's close. Using our curb network, we're going to, have to fix these decals here. We are all cover up that hole just a tad, just like that. Move these decals over, and then just kind of bring this over, yeah, just like that. Good. Okay. Tighten that up just a tad. Really like the curb network, with the exception of one thing. The corners have this little glitch. You might see those little lines there. Um, I'm not really sure. Other than it being really stretched out, it seems to never work on the corners. But it's just a lifesaver as far as not having to plop down a bunch of different props. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. Uh, and you can cover those up just like that, and that takes care of that problem. Uh, just those one of those little minor things that it just is kind of annoying, um, but it gives you an opportunity to and see it came and see it now. Just putting that little bit of grass that I put uh, on there uh, covered it up, and now you would never know that it is it's there. So I think this turned out well. Okay, so just some finishing touches on this commercial part. I'm going to throw these signs on here. And uh, I've got some other retail signs. There's a 
Armani sign. Huh. Store closing, not yet. Probably soon though. Especially with that meth lab in behind the store. Um, Grandpa's getting on his horse. Little race going on down there. Oh, come on, Grandpa. Um, Gotta find some signs. I know I've got more signs on here. I'm not really sure. What are they called? That'll work. Ann Taylor. Who buys Ann Taylor? I don't even know what Ann Taylor is. I guess I probably should. Should I really know women's fashion more than I do? I don't know. Yeah, that's good. All white. Nice look. Crisp. I like it. Let's turn this on a little bit. Yeah, I like that a lot. Alright. And then, how about we kind of do some detailing over here. It's a nice little sidewalk. Another grand ball has entered the map. They're everywhere, folks. They're heading out as soon as they open that casino. I've been there every day. Get my rewards card. The Dulce and Gabbana? Dulce and Gabbana? I, I, I don't know what that is. We're going to have to build a, a major league wall to protect the rich folks from the. What do we got going on here? Oh, Grandma's looking for Grandpa. He was at the meth lab again. <laughs> oh. Well, on that note. Well, I hope you enjoyed episode 10 of this beach resort series. I know there was lots of randomness to it, but I really just needed to add that randomness to get everything kind of finished out. This will probably be the last episode as it's time to move on and get some other things started. Uh, if you haven't voted, vote for my next series and tune in next time for another episode of Cities with John. Thanks for coming along for the ride and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>